Welcome to the introduction video of how to create a poker 2D game in the Unity game engine. What you will learn in this course is rather simple. We are going to go over creating some simple menu over here with button interactions, which we do at the very end over here. We are talking about the full structure of a poker game. So we are going to spit out text after a certain amount of time. We're going to add money to the pool. We are going to have our own money, AI money, and we got that amount and these chips as well as all the button prefabs over here. So what will we learn or what we will start off is how to create some kind of a state machine, which is going to drive AI as well as all the game states, depending on what the game is about and what we want to see at certain different points. At the very beginning of the course, we first of going to create some kind of a layout system which is as much as flexible as we can actually think of. And we're going to do one by one and split up the complete parts into multiple single, let's say, parts. So we can actually determine, okay, this is the top area, but also we split it in the middle over here so that we got a left and a right area and so forth. We are going to learn about different layout group and group elements, buttons, images, rounded or even hardly cornered. We are going to create this little image frames as well as all the back sides and front sides of the cards. We make some of these interactable and some not. Currently, these are not interactable. Also, we're going to make sure that this is so flexible that it can literally fit on any kind of a screen. It should be even possible to play this game on a mobile. So what do we do over here is, well, meanwhile, we are having this actual state over here. We are learning how to create the prefabs. How do we create a deck and how do we read the actual content from a certain deck? And how do we, based on that, how we shuffle the deck by using Fisher Yates um, algorithm as well as a bunch of other things. We are going to learn extensively how to use strings and string parameters to read and use decks to evaluate hands and score based on whatever we as a player or what AI is going to have in its hand. So we have the possibility to flip around these cards because these are our cards. We cannot do that over here. We're going to have the possibility to make a race. And then when we do so, we deactivate the check button and give ourselves the possibility to, for example, increase the number by 10 by clicking it just once. It's not increasing. We are setting it by them certain possibilities. For example, we can give uh, $10 as being the bet amount and then we hit the deal button. Once we do that, we're going to get some other information like flip the cards to uh, yeah, flip the cards to discard them and press the discard button. And as you can see, we are changing text over here. So and also only activate the necessary buttons for a certain state. So I've selected these ones already and we're going to learn how to do this, of course, as well. And once we discard, we're going to see AI discarded four cards in total. We're going to have like a timer in between the certain different states. So the player has a possibility to read the actual content over there. Also, we're going to create multiple evaluation methods for AI decision making, as well as for seeing what are the type of the, what is the current amount of cards and what is the actual um, score of either a single pair, two pairs, three of a kind, four of a kind, full house, and so forth. Also, we go over straight, um, also all the other ones like flush, royal flush, straight flush, and so forth. So these are extra super rare, but sometimes it just happens. So now we, once again, we are in creating two betting states. So the first one is like where we're gonna, before we actually discard um, a single pair, we are only creating this five um, draw, literally that five draw poker game over here. So now I can re-race and gonna give another $10 or whatever I think is going to be feasible. And if I go to high, AI will decide to fold and I get the pool money into my money pool. And the new round is going to start automatically when AI decides to fold. Then we're gonna get dealing out of the hands once again this dealing is going to be done by using something called coroutines, and we are going to use that to use time-based action in general. 
And that is literally the whole concept of what, or the full introduction of what you will learn over here. We will in the end also have a game over screen, like if AI has no money left or you or we as a player don't have enough money left. There is no problem with that. We can just go and play it until the end. Also, AI gets a bunch of information about other things, and but it will never cheat. And this is the most important piece over here. AI won $40, so we're going to inform the player what has happened. And also, when a round is fully over, we're going to change the button once again to another text field over there. So we can start the next round. We deactivate all the other buttons except the cards because there are just, you know, cards and we can literally do whatever we please and like. Oh, and we can also compare why AI did win. In that case, it has two aces, which is a higher pair than two nines over here. So that's why AI won. So all of the actual AI decision making, all of the code and evaluation, which is the toughest part in the world, yeah, course over here will be teached to you. So if you think that is going to be something you want to learn about, feel free to join the course. And yeah, let's start to learn together. See you in course. Bye bye.